Uh, who would like a little, a little Shark Week action? Uh, this this shark th th this fin specifically reminded me of uh, a great movie called uh, Airplane with Na Leslie Nielsen and uh, Love watched it. this movie like uh, a couple of days ago. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you gotta check it out because it's completely awesome and fantastic. It's one of my favorites, uh, Captain yeah. Over, and oh, it's so funny, <laughs> man. The, Don't call uh, him Shirley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Autopilot inflates. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a, it, there seems to be a few people that have not seen the shark ski animation before in the live chat. But yeah, it's uh, one of the little toys we have to have some fun around here. Notice it only works for his voice, right? It's it's you know that's that's shark ski. <laughs> I do, I don't know what kind of magic is behind this, uh, but uh, the funny fact is that one of the reasons uh, Dick Dawson made this shark is because, like you know, I uh, often had bad internet, bad connections. So uh, when I don't have internet, it's like I can use this one, and now I have like one gig per se <laughs> like one gig per second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got better now, internet now, than now, I do. Now, yeah, now your internet is so good, we're actually uh, directly uh, putting the feed into a live shark that's in a tank. <laughs> <laughs> we will have lasers coming up on that shark, too. <laughs> but yeah, you know, fun gag, fun gag. Um, let's, let's turn to Dave here for a little uh, viewer interaction and see where we end up. Yeah, we definitely see you, uh, Stephanie Viola. I was just about to get to you. Uh, how do you deal with the citizens who are Russian sympathizers? That must be incredibly hard and frustrating. Good question. Uh, so it's very easy. In case they openly call for, uh, you know, changing Ukrainian uh, uh, sovereignty and integrity, changing Ukrainian borders and stuff, uh usually uh they are arrested because in ukraine it's against law and you cannot call to uh remove our uh, democratic uh system remove our government uh, uh, and things like that uh, you, you cannot call to make ukraine part of russia uh because uh, you are violating the law in this case and you will get troubles and in case uh, they do that secretly for example reporting uh specific targets to russian fsb and we have uh, such cases of course uh, then they uh, get arrested by security service of ukraine um, which i think is absolutely justified and absolutely right thing to do uh the reason why we have war in ukraine is because uh, of people like them and uh, uh like if you want to live and die in russia and and uh i specifically say and die because that's what people usually do there uh you can just buy a ticket and gtfo and live your happy life uh, in Russia, I will personally help you to get a freaking ticket uh, because uh, we don't want such people in Ukraine. That's the thing. Yeah. Um... It's like, you know, if I lived all my life in Russia and I hated that place uh, and uh, like I, I completely uh, didn't feel happy about anything uh i was mad at everybody i would just move to a place that is better to me i would not call uh like i don't know uh japan for example to come to my place and take it and uh, or, or i don't know any other country because it doesn't work like that uh countries have internationally recognized borders and uh, it was made specifically like that because uh the uh, united nations uh when they kind of decided something you know uh 
they uh, realized that uh, people can move. Currently, there's like there's basically no borders in the world. You can go whenever, wherever you want. And uh, the best way to stop wars, or at least you know make less wars, is to uh, save the currently existing borders. And that's why they did. Uh, that's why all the countries that signed mm -hmm. uh, that agreement, uh, including Russia, by the way, they agreed to the fact that uh, there are borders that cannot be changed. And if people don't like leaving somewhere, they can just move to other place. And it's, it's a perfect solution. And uh, in my opinion, this is the way it should be. Uh, but then there is Russia who starts, uh, you know, using uh, information, who does uh, hybrid warfare that it includes shit like separatists, uh, shit like uh, you were killing millions of people in Donbass for eight years. Show us the graves. Mm -hmm. You were bombing Donbass. Show us the satellite images of bombed Donbass uh and uh and uh things like that so so that's the answer <laughs> um let's see here uh I, I it looks like it's time for a few more shout outs there dunk and then we'll switch back to dave here how's that looking oh. Okie dokie, let me just drag up the window because I'll bury it again. <laughs> uh, right. Um, so we have uh, Alexis Kiri, uh, is a new member, sends in five bucks. Video game controller poses triumphantly in between the words critical hit. <laughs> Level 70, sends in $27.99 Canadian. Um, I'm hearing that Ukraine's latest strikes were successful in, in part because of some Russian soldiers and citizens provided intelligence to the Ukrainian SBU. Uh, is this a sign that Russians are getting fed up with their government? Mm. Uh, there are cases, of course, where uh, Russian soldiers uh, helped Ukraine, but at the same time, uh, as for Crimea, a lot of Crimean Tatars live in Crimea. And uh, Crimean Tatars uh, support Ukraine, of course. Um, they have like puppet uh let's say puppet community there uh separatist community basically uh, uh that mm. is fed from the russian budget that's why they talk uh, whatever russians want them to talk uh, but at the same time uh general uh, population of uh, crimean tatars uh hate russians mm. uh, because of russian repressions because of uh, the way russians treated them and um, that's why they, of course, provide uh, Ukrainian defenders with all the required uh, intelligence. And we know that, uh, I'm not sure about the Russian soldiers, but uh, I know that uh, Crimean movement called Atesh, uh, those are Crimean partisans, uh, C Crimean Tatars, basically. Mm. Uh, they, they provided our uh, security service with this uh, intelligence that helped to strike uh, the Black, fleet, uh, Black Sea Fleet uh, headquarter in Crimea. Nice. Okie dokie. Uh, so we have also uh, uh, Royal Castriota sends in uh, seven bucks. Uh, did you see the Alb Albanian Prime Minister mopping the floor with the uh, Russian ambassador to the UK? Uh, he shut him down over and over and over again. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did that uh, because uh, Russian uh, Russian representative uh, Nibendia was kind of protesting against uh, Zelensky's uh, speech uh, in the UN. And uh, then uh, Albanian representatives said, uh, well, there is a very uh, easy solution to this you stop the war in ukraine and then uh, mr zelensky will not have to talk here you know? <laughs> um, i and uh, i believe that it was not the first time Al uh, albanians basically mopped the floor with russian representatives they are awesome yeah 
Yeah, let's hope after this war, uh, Zelensky can get back to uh, stand-up comedy again. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, yeah. Cats, cats uh, is a, a shul apprentice uh, says hi everyone watching you. Slava Ukraini. Uh, Lack criminal uh, sends in uh, ten bucks. Uh, Starsky, what is your opinion or take on what Poland said this week in regards to no grain and no new funding to Ukraine? Um, elections coming up in Poland. Try some um, Baja Blast Mountain Dew. <laughs> uh, Mountain Dew, unfortunately, is finished. Uh, Aww. It, it didn't take long to, to finish it completely. I had like a, like a pack, like a big pack. Uh, but uh, as uh, for uh, the situation with uh, Ukrainian grain in Poland, uh, of course, every country will protect their farmers. They will protect their interests. Uh, Poland protects uh, their farmers, their import and export. Uh, Ukraine is losing money. That's why Ukraine protects our grain, our farmers, our interests. So it's a normal thing. And uh, I, uh, I see this as challenge for uh, President Zelensky and uh, for our government, because during war, not only uh, military challenges we have to deal with, uh, yeah. we have to solve other things as well. But I'm very happy that uh, they uh, made some kind of, uh, I don't know, um, agreement or conclusion. They met, they talked, and uh, I, I'm very happy that they can uh, discuss such things uh, in, you know, in frames of dialogue. It's, it's very important, of course. Mm -hmm.